Finding out what ads your competitors are running will let you know what's working for them and what's not, what your audience is interested in and what you can do to reach them. But to do this, you need expensive apps, right? No, you don't. Google, Meta, and TikTok offer free solutions so you can research a brand's active ads. In this video, we'll explain what competitor ads are and how to get the most out of them. Let's get started. The three tools we'll be looking at today are Google's Ads Transparency Center, Meta's or Facebook's Ad Library, and TikTok Ads Library. We'll start with Google's because it's the most recent and the one you probably don't know about. But if you're only interested in one in particular, you can find timestamps in the description of this video. What is the Google Ad Transparency Center? The Google Ad Transparency Center is a tool that allows you to view and compare real active ads that other brands have run in search, YouTube, and display ads. You can filter these ads by location, date, and format, making it easier for you to find what you're really interested in. You can access the Google Ad Transparency Center by going directly to the Google Ads Library website you see on the screen and typing in the name of the website or advertisers whose ad you want to see. You can also analyze it if you come across an ad directly. By clicking on the three dots next to the ad, you will see that a window called My Ad Center opens up in which there are different sections, one of which is called Information About This Ad. In it, you will have to click on the blue sentence that says See More Ads. Google will automatically redirect you to the Ad Transparency Center so you can see more ads from the same advertiser. Let's put it into practice. Think about your most direct competitor. Enter the brand name and you will see all the ads that they have active. We recommend you look at the following details. When was the first and last time they were shown? What is the theme that Google has chosen to label them? In what format have they been published? The different variants of the ad. How many times they have been shown in an approximate range? Or the audience targeting the brand has chosen for those ads? Note that Google's Ad Transparency Center only shows ads that have been shown to the public in the last 30 days, and in the case of political ads, only those shown in the last seven years. The only thing that we cannot know about the ad through this tool, at least at first glance, is what kind of campaign the advertiser has run within Google. Facebook Ad Library or Meta Ad Library. The second free tool we'll show you today allows you to collect data from all active ads on Meta's advertising platform, i.e. Facebook, Instagram, Messenger, Meta Audience Network, and more. In addition to the active ones, it shows ads on social, election, or political topics that have been activated in the last seven years and has a history of ads made in the European Union in the last year. And if that wasn't enough, it allows you to see the mergers that have taken place between pages, name changes, and even where pages are managed from. How can you start using it in your daily life? Well, first of all, it can serve as a source of inspiration, as you can see what kind of content the competition publishes and detect those that get the most engagement. It's not about copying, but about detecting what the audience wants. It's also about finding new customers. You can search the library and find out which brands don't use Facebook or Instagram, those that don't interact well with their audience, or those that do it in a negative way to launch campaigns aimed at capturing their attention and gaining customers. With Ad Library, you can also monitor advertising trends. Knowing what your competitors are posting and how their ads are being received is key to understanding advertising trends and identifying patterns that can be used in your own strategies. Images, messages, offers, or CTAs are some of the elements to pay attention to. You can use it to find the content that works best, such as style, tone, or communicative intent. You can also use it to find out which visual elements create the most impact on the audience. It allows you to make a very specific segmentation. The platform has such a large amount of information that it is possible to segment ads according to age, gender, professional activity, level of studies, hobbies, and more. This allows you to know the preferences of a very specific audience to design strategies that speak directly to who you want to attract. And finally, we have TikTok Ad Library, which is very similar to the Meta Library, but obviously applied to active campaigns on TikTok, with data on ad targeting, regional reach, who paid for them, and more. It's currently only available for European campaigns, but they offer an alternate tool more focused on highlighting creative campaigns in their creative center. Going back to the ad library, you'll see that by checking a target country, ad type, and date range, for example, TikTok will give an overview of all the ads that are running. How to search the ad library. To search the ad library, do the following. 1. Go to the TikTok ads library. 2. Click on the ad library at the top of the page. 3. Select the target country of the ad, the type of ad, and the date the ad was published. 
4. To find ads published by a specific advertiser or that have a specific keyword, type the advertiser's name or a keyword in the drop-down menu. 5. Click Search. Any ad that includes the search keyword or whose advertiser's name matches the search term will appear in the results. You can sort the results by number of viewers, last view date, and date of publication. And that's it for today's video. If you want to learn more about Google Ads, click on the video on the screen. You can also download our template for Google Ads copy. See you in the next video.